Well, good afternoon everyone. Oh, we messed up today. Right, just for something different, I picked the wrong camera up and the battery's flat, so we've lost half that. Anyway, just for something different, what happened was, um, I've seen some people make some coin rings. And I've got these old coins in a junk drawer like everybody has. And so, I was... I can show you. Now, I, I rigged my other camera up. We had quite an elaborate setup, actually. I rigged my other camera up um, because it does a close-up. That one, I've seen people make these coin rings, right? So I looked through me all these coins and I found... Uh, I've got two. I can't see the other one now. Did I leave it in the drawer? Might have left it in the drawer. Is that it? No. That's it. No. I mean, coins are all the same, aren't they? Anyway, I've got like that one, and I'll show you them at close up, right? Anyway, I'm short of a, a punch in that, but I thought, oh, money, you know, how do we do money? So, what I'll do, as I say, I'll talk you through um, the video. There's the other one, I know we had two, right? We've got two, I don't know what they are, quarters, half dollars, something like that. Might Right, I'll just explain what I've been trying to do. It's not gone very well, has it? <laughs> anyway, um, you can see them. I've gone through the video. And it's more or less self-explanatory. But just to tell you, our new money system, which everybody knows that's been here, it's very simple. We've got 100 pennies in a pound. They're still called pennies, right? Well, we went decimal in 1971, it was. And a lot of people know this. Anyway... I've, uh, so what we've got is 100 pennies in a pound split up in 1s, 2s, 5s, 10s and 50s. But before that, we had pound, shillings and pence. And there was 12 pence in a shilling and 20 shillings in a pound. Right, so that's why it, we changed and that's why it's different. So you, you've seen most of it. We've got some of the old coins and uh, I can show you. You know, so it's just a, a brief explanation of what you're about to see. And you should be able to see them, hopefully. So I'll, I'll not leave it too long if you do want to have a look. Some, by the way, they've got different designs on. But uh, I, just, I just think you'll be able to see them better. Well, I hope you can anyway. So that's the... And there's your two pence, you see. It says it on there. Like that. And the 10p one. The head side. Right. And the tail side of this one. As I say, there's different designs. Right. Uh, you know, so that's that, and the 20 pence one again, there's different designs of them. Get them right way up, else I'll get shot when I. There you are. And of course, the 50 pence, it isn't a shiny one. I've uh, actually been very lucky because I've got some quite interesting <laughs> back designs. They just happened to be in my money drawer, nothing else at all. So uh, as I say, I don't know how long this will be, it doesn't matter does it? Turn off if you're bored. Anyway, that's that. Now, uh, the pound, by the way, many of these are fakes. That one might be, who knows. Apparently one in twenty of these are fakes. You know, people have been forging them. That's why they're making new ones. I don't know. So that's our coinage today. So we'll just now have a look at our old coinage. Right? And I might have to just come out a bit for this. Now we used to have shillings and pence. Pounds, shillings and pence. Not pounds and pence. I don't they called it the same, which is stupid. So I've still got some of these. These old 
and as you can see that's 1916 you see so they are quite old right now what they used to be was I won't show you them all because quite a few um, there used to be 12 of those 12 pence in a shilling not many people will know this especially today Any, anyone after 1970 born after 1971 won't know it and that's a shilling which funnily enough you see they're the shillings I've got uh, another one somewhere I'll show you that one there we are like I say we don't know how long but people are interested in coins you know aren't they so uh, we'll just give you a few seconds of each one you can always stop the video to have a look can't you because they are showing up quite well and we'll see what other assortment we've got now the, other, the thing is somewhere I've got a two shilling piece now a shilling is five new pence just to make it difficult you know a shilling was five new pence so two shillings what that is is ten pence and if you look they are very similar they used to be the same size and they made them smaller so that's how you work it out you know we've had a long while working it out there's another two shilling piece you see As I say, I'll just give you a few seconds of it because uh, a lot of people collect coins and they, oh, I mean, they spend a fortune, don't they? Got a 1933 penny and it made £33,000 20 years ago, is it, or something like that. So, we'll just show you those. Well, that's 20-something Barbados. One dollar. That's a Barbados dollar. These, I haven't been abroad, so these have just come in uh, in change I've got you know they've been given out as 20 pence or 50 pences or something like that I don't know so we'll put them out the way so we're not uh... now this one it's 20 something I don't know what does it tell you oh it's a 20 pence now look at that you see what I mean about coins they're interesting aren't they so look at that that's a 20 pence coin and look at the interesting designs on the back because people don't know this you know that's the thing I've got a 20 it's 20 cent piece it says euro cent I don't know who where that's from it doesn't say and I'm looking through the viewfinder because I can actually see better than my naked eye actually but that doesn't say where it's from so I've got one of those five is that well PTAS I don't know where that's from either maybe someone can tell me I'm not I'm not a coin collector as you can see so hang on I'll get right way around 97 right so you get these in change don't you surprising what you can find of interest now also oh, I've got that's a token right this isn't a coin it's a euro coin 20 token I don't think that is a coin I think it's uh, I think it's um, it says London doesn't it euro coin from London I don't know what that's for like I say we get them all over don't we and then I've got uh, some of these that were you know for amusement you know, you used to get them when you went to amusement. For you swapped them for tokens for some reason. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know. And there's another one here. As I say, you know, you might just find some of this a bit interesting. I don't know what that is either. It doesn't. I can't read it. Oh, I can. I don't know if that's a coin or not. Again, but uh, strange these coins people have, aren't they? I would love actually to go metal detecting and find a Roman coin. Right, what's that one? 1989. Oh, it's German. 
can't say what it is. Ten, ten Fenix, isn't it? Is that German? It's German on the back, I think. I think it is. Interesting, isn't it? You see, I said it was interesting. And we've got another one here that's a some sort of token. Um, actually, we're going to have to fill this video. I don't know what's wrong because my other camera's playing up now. That's a shame. Anyway, we can uh, we can fill in the bits later, can't we? What we miss. Anyway, these were what I was looking for. Right. 1965 and it is oh, why is it always upside down and it says United States of America doesn't it no or is it United Emirates is that United Emirates yeah it is anyway I think it's a it says quarter dollar that's it so I thought that might make a ring you see as they're silvered. I'm not sure about that. And then I've got another one here. Like I say, these have just been given out in change. So, and then we've got a. Have I shown you that? Sorry if I have. Barbados dollar. I think I've shown you that one. But it says dollar on it, and it's about the same as our 50 pences. That's where we get them, of course. That's it. I'll just show you be quickly because I've got my clocks finished. And just to show you them finished. And I'm only holding my camera. So I've got that one done. And this one. I think you can see these alright. They've actually not come too badly, have they? So um, still need a bit of work. One or two bits of things gone wrong. But there we are. Anyway, hope you find it a little bit interesting. And, oh, by the way, um, quite a while ago, I've got a, an old McCarnan set, my father's, yeah, I mean, it's like 9.25. And I did do a video of showing it, and I did a, a little, I made a thing out of it, like a little roundabout thing, and ran it on my steam engine. And I thought, well, might be amusing, isn't it, as I've got my, my new one made just to do something a little bit similar sometime. Anyway, if you're interested, let us know, and we can do that. Just something to do, because, I mean, look at the weather. I mean, it's blooming cold. It's dry today, but it's blooming cold and damp and miserable out, so what else do you do, eh? Right, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, and it's something a little different. And, uh, hopefully, take care. We'll see you soon.